Okay, we're going to talk about bronchial blood flow and answer the questions, what is it and what does it supply and what is its origin and venous return? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. There are two words often used when learning about the respiratory system. Bronchial, which means airways, and pulmonary, which means lungs. And in this case, lungs means alveoli. And so the pulmonary circulation is blood that goes from the heart to the alveoli and back, where gas exchange occurs. Right ventricle, alveoli in the lungs, left atrium. That's the pulmonary circulation. This is what we talk about for gas exchange, the blood air barrier, and so forth. However, bronchial for airways, and we talk about blood supply, this is bronchial blood flow. And so to illustrate this, let's show this picture. I drew it in graduate school. There's the trachea in the right and left primary bronchi. And the esophagus is behind the trachea, and there's a aorta, which gives rise to the bronchial arteries. Um, typically, there's two bronchial arteries on the left and one on the right, but I recognize this illustration shows two on either side. Note, sometimes bronchial arteries arise from the intercostal arteries. So let's take a look at this picture from Gray's Anatomy. There's our trachea, and the trachea then branches, and here's the right primary and uh, right secondary bronchi um, coming off, and then there is a bronchial artery. And notice that it's coming off of an intercostal artery in this case. So let's look at a right lung in a medial view. There's a bronchus, and those three circles in cross-section are bronchial arteries. They travel with and branch with the bronchi, and they end at the level of the respiratory bronchioles. Well, let's see that again in this picture. There's a respiratory bronchial, and here's the bronchial blood supply, where the bronchial artery is going to bring oxygen and nutrients to these capillaries. And those capillaries supply smooth muscle, cartilage, connective tissue, and so forth, again, of the airway. So deoxygenated blood drains via bronchial veins. That's why that bronchial vein is blue. But look what it's dumping into, the pulmonary vein from the pulmonary circulation, which is bringing oxygen-rich blood from the alveoli. So this creates a small physiologic right-to-left shunt, which slightly lowers the oxygen in the pulmonary vein going back to the left atrium. Some blood in the bron some bronchial veins drain directly into the azygous system of veins, which goes to the right atrium. So, most bronchial veins, blue, deoxygenated blood, drain into the pulmonary veins, red, oxygenated blood. There's that little small physiological shunt. And some bronchial veins just drain directly into the azygous system of veins. And that, my friends, is bronchial blood flow in a nutshell.